Gavin, just before we come back to today, tell us about your Grand National team. Have they all their fast work done at this stage? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, and uh, I was actually over in, in Aintree yesterday and uh, walked the track and uh, plenty of juice in the ground now. Mm. Um, hopefully they get a few dry days. Um, you know, it's they're heavy in the description and um, mine wouldn't mind an ease in it, but I was wouldn't like too much. Yeah, I mean, if you had your ideal conditions, what would you wish for? Good to soft, maybe? Yeah, I suppose good to soft would be nice. And, and a bit soft would be fine, too. Um, but just when you when you start getting into heavy, it, uh, it just wouldn't be the preferred. They've obviously had different preparations. Vanillier, as kind of his whole season, has been geared around the one race, it would appear, whereas Limerick Lakes has been to Cheltenham and, of course, won. And Melina Girl, I suppose she's been on the go a bit as well. What's your feeling about who might be best suited by it? Yes, look, a Melina girl is, is probably quite exposed, but she's in off a, a, a real light weight and she jumps well and stays well, so I think she should run well. I uh, wouldn't like the ground too heavy, you know, she is only small. Um, Limerick Lace looks to be on an upward, upward curve and we don't know how far she'll stay, but I think she should and she jumps really well. And uh, Vanillier, sure, listen, we all know about him and his, uh, you know, he did a great run last year and we've trained him to peak for this race and, and uh, hopefully he will. He just ended up having a little bit too much to do to make up the ground last year. Are you optimistic he'll be able to maybe lie up a bit handier this time? Hopefully. Um, you know, you, you would say the softer ground would would help him, you know, that'll slow things down a bit, but I do think that he does enjoy a little bit of nice ground. Um, I know he's lacking a gear on it, but uh, it does, does bring out the best of him. Who else is going to make the trip over? Fia Florian Porter going to run? Florian Porter's going to run, uh, visionary and um, possibly <coughs> um, he's in the top one, but um, with heavy in the description, he may not go. Um, and Pat Roo is going to go for a handicap on Thursday. Mm. <coughs> Heroic run from Florian Porter at Chelham. Has he bounced out of that race just the way you would have liked? You wouldn't believe it. He's, he's as tough as nails. Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he worked this morning and yeah, he's in great form. Terrific. Well, we look forward to seeing them all next week. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.